Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video I'm going to go over the Far Plane Invasion event and the different rewards that you can get in it and the costs associated with those rewards. But before we get started, if you're a fan of War and Order and of mobile gaming in general, then you're in the right place. I release between two to five different videos per week, and I'll even be picking that up um, as we go along. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the Far Plane Invasion event. It happens about once a month. It actually just came back, or it's just here for us um, in 1567 for the first time that I remember. And you basically create a team, and then you go through and you kill these different um, Far Plane demons. And, but the rewards, the good rewards, are all associated with the damage that you do personally. So the rewards are here. If you click the little arrow to the right, you can see the different levels. I've already gotten the, the first two levels, or the first one done. And now I'm moving up to the second one, and I'll get there in just a second, you'll see. It goes all the way up to 46 million damage. Now, to get these, you can do challenges, and the challenges are here. And the daily quest, and you'll get these basic crystals. These are just, these are the basic ones. And so you can do different things within the game and you'll get some of these crystals so that, and you use the crystals to do damage to the, to the demons. You have the basic crystals and you have the superior crystals. The superior crystals do 20,000 damage and the basic crystals do 1,000 damage. Now you'll only get a few of these um, basic crystals per day for free. Everything else you have to actually purchase. So to purchase these, you can go here to packs and you can see I've already got the first two here and I actually was able to get two of the first ones because it resets each day that you go along. So I've done that and now I've bought the, and these start off at, I believe it's $1.99 or $2.99? $2.99. This, this uh, second pack here that I got was $4.99 and that's what I plan to get here for this event. And I want to go over like what are the, what are the rewards first, and and then how much does it cost to actually get these rewards? So twenty thousand. Just remember the twenty thousand damage that you can do for the superior with each superior crystal. All right. So to max this out all the way, even if you include the if the max amount of the basic crystals you get. It's going to cost you about 575 USD to get all the way through there. And what do you what would you get? So, these are all cumulative, right? So, if you got the full amount and you did the maximum amount of damage here, you would get all these rewards from the very beginning including this first one that I already got. And so, and these rewards are nine total um, artifact fragments. A total of 5,500 Azurite, which is great. 68 orange tattoos here. A 98 50% um, march speed, speed ups. <laughs> um, 350 obsidian. You get 350 superior rune st stones also. And um, 50 of these birthstone crystals that you can pick um, which zodiac to apply it to, along with uh, some other resources that you would get here and some other, you know, kind of random things you get here. These, these are actually pretty good. The attack bonus, health bonus, you know, the, the superior ones, the advanced ones. You get 350 beast elements, you know, 90 gold coins, etc. A lot of different speed ups and, and different things that you can get here. Um, for a total of uh, 575 USD. Now, pretty easy to do the math as you go through this because you can go here, look, I have 20 here. You can see each time it's 20K, 20K. So now I've already gotten enough to, to get that one reward. You're also, as you go through, you're getting um, the, beast, the elements, the beast elements to use for your talents. So if you are kind of moving through and trying to 
max out or as much as you can your 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 beast tonsils actually something that I'm working on because there's some really good skills as you go through there so so now I've gotten you know this reward and and now I'm up to the the third reward here which would then give me some more artifact fragments I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that through the free ones so I would have to spend another I would have to wait and for the the best thing that I could do is just wait for the next reset here and then get the 299 and that would that'd be 280k damage that would get me plenty to to go to get this reward here for another 299 so I'll probably do that there's ranking rewards as well both for individual and for the team and the MVP of your team the one who does the most damage will get an extra little reward it used to be based on who the leader of the team was but it's a lot better that they do it now as the MVP. The problem is it's going to be very difficult to to get you know the higher ranking rewards and the rewards on, honestly here aren't that great. Same thing on the individual and the individual rewards if you're rank one, you get the Lava Dragon Castle for seven days, which you can also just get here. This is not a any kind of you know you could get it here your seven day here for 1500 crystals. The other rewards that you would get for individual ranking would be, you know, for first place, 20k beast um, XP, so a decent amount of recruitment speed ups, you know, that would maybe be 4000 tier 10 troops that you could get out of that. Not too bad. Um, and some some resources. So to get your to get into first place, I mean, for example, in my setup here with these different uh, realms involved I would need to get over 58 million which would be seven or eight hundred dollars and although you know it, it's not really fair of me just to say that that's that's all there is because I would be able to get a lot of those beast talents so that I could boost up here which is something that I'm actually working on moving up in here would be really great to, to, to good things, not a bad thing at all, um, but the cost would be really, really, really high. I really don't think the rewards to be able to get that first place kind of merit the, the cost. I think I would focus more on the individual damage rewards that you can get just by going through. So if you're going to spin, it's a lot more beneficial and you'll get a lot more out of you know just shooting for your Azurite if you're working on your orange tattoos here um, then this may actually be um, something useful to you in addition you'll get all of these speed ups and obsidian and some other things that you that you need to to play so i hope this is this is useful and and with that take care